some really big news going on with Carnival Cruise Line, and we're going to check it out right now. Hey guys, I'm Michael, and welcome to Cruise Control. Here we've got cruise tips, cruise news, and all kinds of fun stuff when it comes to cruising. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and check out our other videos. Carnival Cruise Line has recently announced some pretty exciting updates, expansions, and additions. Long Beach, California. With the re-grand opening of its terminal there, Carnival has announced that the Carnival Splendor will be returning to Long Beach from Miami to join Carnival Imagination and Carnival Inspiration at the newly expanded terminal there. The expansion has taken the dome terminal from 66,000 square feet to more than 142,000 square feet, now allowing the new embarkation and deparkation process to flow simultaneously. The Long Beach Carnival Terminal is currently the only private operated cruise terminal in the United States. In 2019, the brand new Vista class ship, Carnival Panorama, will be home based here as well. At that time, Carnival Splendor will be moving to its new home base, Sydney, Australia. The Long Beach port is now offering guest cruise vacations ranging from 3 to 14 days. Points of destination include Alaska, Hawaii, Canada, Cabo San Lucas, along with other Baja cruises and many other destinations. Here's one a lot of people have been waiting for. Another big announcement, Carnival is adding 17 additional new sailings to Cuba for 2019. The dates will range from May to December. This will be a five-day round-trip cruise aboard Carnival Sensation, leaving from Miami. The cruise will feature a day-long call in Havana, as well as stops at popular Caribbean and Bahamian ports, including Grand Turk, Grand Cayman, Nassau, Half Moon Cay, and Princess Cays. The cruise line is offering up to 20 new excursions for its stop in Cuba. In the news for Carnival's fleet, Carnival Victory, yes! Carnival Victory is a beautiful choice for a cruise vacation and has just undergone some extensive updates. For a while now, this one is going to places that people want to go but has been missing some of the features that people really like. But not anymore. Hey, check this out. Some of the updates include several new cabin categories, Guy's Burger Joint, Blue Iguana Tequila Bar and Blue Iguana Cantina, Red Frog Rum Bar, Bonsai Sushi Express, and Cherry on Top. Okay, people, now it's time to go to Half Moon K. And yep, she goes there. <laughs> Carnival Paradise is also undergoing a massive month-long renovation with similar upgrades. Meanwhile, Carnival Fascination has resumed its year-round schedule of seven-day Southern Caribbean departures from San Juan, Puerto Rico. And of course, Carnival Horizon sells in just a few weeks on April 2nd the lineup for some brand new shows has been released and will include Soulbound, Celestial Strings, and Vintage Pop with a fourth show coming soon. Tampa, Florida. Carnival Miracle now has a new home at the port of Tampa Bay. Carnival Miracle is another very nice choice for Carnival's line. She's a little bit different from most of the fleet and will be offering cruise vacations from 4 to 14 days year-round. Hey, congratulations, Tampa! Next up, Carnival has just announced a multi-million dollar port project for Ensenada, Mexico. Carnival says this will include both indoor and outdoor developments. I think we will be seeing a lot more about this very soon. Guys, remember to subscribe, click like if you like, and check out our other videos. Hey, check out our cruise gear listed below. There's some good stuff there you might need for your next adventure, and we've got you covered. 
again, my name is Michael, and I will see you next time.